America saved. Amber Carrington moves on to the top six. Being kicked off a singing competition like NBC's The Voice is tough for the talented contestants, but this time it was the coach who seemed to take the eliminations hardest. After realizing he would lose at least one of his team members, Adam Levine made this off-the-cuff comment during the live broadcast. I hate this country. Immediately setting off a firestorm of angry tweets. I think I hate Maroon 5 just as much as Adam Levine hates America, said one. Another read, Adam Levine just said, I hate this country on TV. Not a smart move, dude. Not smart at all. Levine quickly turned to Twitter himself to apologize. People were calling for him to be uh, fired from the show and deported, which I don't think is a possible thing. But he tweeted in response the dictionary definitions of joke and misunderstanding. It was kind of uh, very kind of cheeky about it. Like the Maroon 5 frontman, many viewers were shocked when one-time frontrunner Judith Hill was booted from the competition. The voice made Hill a standout, but she had come close to stardom prior to the show. She was hired as a backup singer for Michael Jackson, but the tour was canceled when Jackson died in 2009. Many of the remaining contestants are country singers, raising the questions of who's watching and who's voting. You know, when you get these uh, these people that are more geared towards uh, country music, uh, I think that tends to be more of a uh, a safer option, a more kind of uh, uh, comfortable option for a lot of people uh, than someone who's a, a more of a, a, a pop voice or an R&B voice. After American Idol, singers Chris Daughtry and Jennifer Hudson went on to have very successful careers despite not winning. It shows that talent doesn't always come out on top on these shows. Oh, completely, yeah. It's almost never the case, actually, that the, that the most talented person ends up being uh, the victor.